I was just looking for somewhere private where I could make this vlog from because um, people in England find it really weird when you're vlogging in public. Anyway, so the reason I'm not on my scooter today is because Bird Scooters, the scooter rental company, have launched here in London. Kind of. Basically, the laws in London don't allow electric scooters on the road. Even though people like myself do ride them every day, strictly speaking, they're not legal. So bird scooters have set up a trial here in Stratford, which is on private land, so they should be okay. So I'm gonna go try it out. Okay, so I've just landed at Here East, which is kind of like the end of the course where I should be meeting some guys from Bird, who's hopefully gonna give me an interview and we can chat about electric scooters in London. Woo! Oh, here's the boys. How are you doing? Yeah, kids. Hi, Good. Good you to doing? meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Richard. So I'm here with... Richard Corbett. Hi Richard, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ben. Um, what, what do you do? I'm head of Bird in the UK. Sweet. Should we go for a ride? I think let's do it. Great. Safety first. So Richard, can you show us how to actually unlock these scooters? Let's do it. Okay, Amazing. so yeah. just download the app on yes. your phone. Okay. And then you find the birds near to where you are in Queen Elizabeth Park. Thankfully there's there's plenty here for us to choose from. That. And then you click right. Right. And then a little box pops up. Yeah. Scan the QR code, press unlock, wait a couple of seconds, it'll start to beep, and it's ready to go. That's fine. That's, That's, cool. That's unlocked, right? That is ready to go. This is the throttle here, just to show you. Yeah. Use the brake, of course that's there. We've got a beautiful bell here. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride, see you later. Thank you. Wait, Richard, weren't you meant to show me around? Like, we push off. So, uh, Richard, you got a sign here that says uh, riders must dismount scooters before crossing the road, yeah? That's right. So, yeah. to be compliant with UK regulations, you cannot ride this on anywhere but the approved pathway. Cool. So, that means you can't go on pavements and you can't go on the road. Hello, Frankie. Hi. So, Frankie is our lead bird, bird watcher at Queen Elizabeth Park, and the bird watchers are part of a new program that we have across the world. These are our eyes and ears of ground. They're probably my, the most important people in the whole organization because they're the ones that make sure everything runs smoothly. A lot of people coming up to you, are people quite excited about it all? Yeah, no, people are, well, I mean, some people are already jumping on their birds and going straight here, like to Hare East um, and are quite like natural, but some people are still coming up, asking questions, what yeah. is it? Yeah, people are, people are interested. And are, are people finding it pretty easy to just jump on and off they go? Yeah, definitely. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Frankie. Bye. Thanks, Frankie. See you later. Bye. So, um, Frankie's a bird watcher. I know. Maybe I should become a bird watcher. Do you think you could hack it? Okay, let's go. It's a um, good day for it. It is a rather good day for a bird ride. That's right, that's right. We're actually going to do this interview. The guy keeps driving past. Ben, are we going to do this interview or not? Nah. The speed, I've noticed, is capped at about 15 miles per hour. Why is that? Yeah, so the average speed of a cyclist is 15 miles an hour, so we believe that actually we should be consistent with them. So we can't go any quicker than that. So actually, you'll be riding around here and you'll be overtaken by a lot of bikes. But that's yeah. fine. We yeah. think safety is first and, yeah. you know, we just want people to enjoy the ride. Yeah, I definitely think 15 miles per hour is definitely fast enough. It's a good speed, it's got nice acceleration. Love it, we just love it. We're birding around. I feel like a bird. Free as a bird. I think there's a song coming on. <laughs> Guy. Am I a bird, Richard? <laughs> I don't know. I think you're clinically insane. So this is one of our other bird watchers. Yep. Hi. Hello. And she's stationed here to make sure that this crossing is done in a safe manner. So everyone again has to, yes, sure. to di dismount their scooter before they walk across. Keep up the good job. I will. Make sure you dismount. Okay, thank you. 
good team, Richard. You've got a good team. Team effort. It's a team effort. There's no I in team, but there is in bird. <laughs> Yeah. What do you guys think of the uh, the birds? Too slow. <laughs> Too slow. He's a speed demon. He's a speed demon. <laughs> right. Let's talk safety. Love it. So you've got your your bird watchers out and about. That's right. What else are we doing for safety? So we do a lot of things to make sure that the riders are always safe. So first and foremost, we give away helmets. We've got oh. fifty thousand helmets away in the last twelve months alone. We also limit the. Wait, does that mean I can keep this helmet? Yes, you can. Here's my gift to you. Oh, thank you. Are they fun? Sorry? Are they fun? Oh, they're a lot of fun. They're Where's a lot of fun. Do you want to have a go? Oh, you've got to try everything in life, haven't you? Oh, good man. Good man, good man. Really simple. Take them down the stairs. This guy just wants a quick on skiller. <laughs> Have fun. Wish me luck. There he goes. Look at that. You should be able to choose. Oh, very happy man. Hey! <laughs> you enjoy that? That was terrific. Yeah, thank you very, very much. So you're a keen yeah. cyclist. I'm a keen cyclist. Fantastic. Yeah. And we want you to continue to cycle because yeah. I think that is it's even always, it's, yes. well, it's always good to, yeah. to, to maintain health. Yeah. But this is also good to be able to connect people yeah. who are far away from public transport and to convince them to not use the car. Yes. No, no. I'm We're not trying to convince people to not ride a bike. We're trying to convince people, don't use a car. Yeah. Um, you know, t do that one or two miles yeah. uh, on a scooter, go, and then and use public transport. smile at passers-by. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes. You um, must have it back. I must pedal thank furiously you, sir. for the other end. Lovely no, to meet you. No, on the contrary. You. Thank you. Good luck with it all. Thank no, you. Are, you, are you happy to be included in the YouTube video? Yeah, yeah very happy. Amazing. Of course happy. I am. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. What a lovely chap. What a lovely chap. A lovely chap. Wow. Shall we get back to our interview? Back to safety. Come on. Safety. Unlike James here, we're not, we're not converting cyclists to ride electric scooters, right? It's, it's to get off the no. cars. And... No, definitely. We're, 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 we're focused 100% on, on reducing car users. Yeah. And uh, we love cyclists. You know, yeah. we, we actually invest in cycling networks. We invest in cities to build um, and contribute towards the, 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 the growth of the cycling infrastructure because we can benefit from that as well. Mm. So if, if we're investing in cycling infrastructure and we're reducing the number of cars on the road, then that's a good thing for, for cyclists as well. We, you know, if we're removing one two ton vehicle for one 20 kilo scooter, that makes the road a lot less congested, a lot less congested and obviously uh, safer for everyone. I mean, to date we've, um, we've taken thousands of tons of, of CO2 out of the atmosphere. That's, an, that's amazing. And I think actually based on the amount we've reduced from the atmosphere in terms of CO2, um, that you'd need 150,000 trees. Uh, growing for 10 years to remove the same amount of CO2 that we've removed that's in 12 incredible. months. Incredible. That's such a no-brainer. That is amazing. Yeah, so actually the stat is 12.7 million pounds of, uh, of CO2 we've removed from the atmosphere. Wow. In 12 months. Wow. Pretty proud of that. That's, that's pretty good. Well, I've only been here for seven months, so, you know, I can only take like 60% of that. For me, but. <laughs> wow. Like nine, nine and a half thousand people in London every single year die prematurely because of um, CO2 pollution related illnesses so and something has to stop about that we have to do something yeah. about it and yeah. you know I agree with um, Sadiq Khan you know he's, he's increasing the congestion charge zone he's uh, increasing congestion charge fees so you know I think that's a great <clears throat> stick approach but let's give people a carrot let's let's give them some some reason to do something else you know you you, you can't just tax people they'll keep doing it people still need to go from A to B you yeah. need to give them a better alternative absolutely okay that's shall we dream. continue I'd love to. Let's go. And we're off. You enjoying the ride, Ben? Oh, I'm enjoying the ride. It's a beautiful day. Put me on an electric scooter. I'm a happy bunny. I think my electric scooter is the nearest thing I've got to a girlfriend, actually, which is. <laughs> Pretty sad to say, but it's true. There are many jokes I want to say. <laughs> I, I, um, sp I spend more time with my electric scooter than I do with uh, with any females. Well, you know, I, I can't comment on this being a married man, but I think, you know, every man must have, you know, a love in their life, yeah. whether, it's, whether it's another man, another woman. Yeah. Or a mechanical electric scooter. Or a mechanical electric scooter. In my case, look at that beautiful st structure behind us there. Look at that. Wow. We are so lucky to have the UK's first e-scooter trial in such a beautiful location. Yeah. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. Got, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got the old Olympic Stadium now, West Ham United. You've 
you've got the orbit over there, yeah. where you've got the world's biggest helter skelter. So why did you choose this particular area? We chose this area because it's uh, compliant with UK regulations. We can only uh, use electric scooters on private land, and with the landlord's approval, uh, and with the consent of Department of Transport and Transport for London, we were able to do this fantastic trial on an approved route uh, where we've actually geofenced this precise route that you can ride on and it's got signage as well as you can see over there. But failing that, if someone ignores that uh, and they ride, let's say, off path, yeah. you'll start to see the geofence uh, kick in. Shall we, shall we see how that works? Yeah, let's do that. This is my attempt to, to steal an electric scooter or take it off piste, okay? Let's do it. See you later, Richard. Bye. Come back here, come back. You'll never catch me. Here we go. Okay, so, so I am now going to try and go beyond the geofence. Oh, perfect timing, just beeped. Where, where's Richard? Where is he? Still working, still working. So I've got a warning. I've had a warning. Oh, it's slowing down. It is slowing down. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. It's still going. Still going. Ah, please. And that's the geofence got me. Okay, fine, fine. The scooters win. The system works. I've got to walk back. Let's see if I can scoot back. Ah, so, and because I've been a bad boy, it's I'm having to kickstart it. <laughs> the system works, Richard. The system works. Fantastic. So this is all part of our pledge to to the city to say that everything we're doing is is in a controlled environment and it's safe. Yeah. So now we're having to pedal, right? Yes, because the motor's saying, you've gone off piece, you naughty boy. You've got to go back onto the approved route. Okay. And uh, so in a couple of meters, we'll probably start to get the motor kicking in once the GPS has recognized basically that, that we're in the approved zone. Ah, I just gotta be. Just, yep, me too, that's saying, welcome back. Stay on the path, please. So what I would say, even if you're not into electric scooters and you fancy a day out, it's just, so beautiful on a, on a day like this to, and just to have to scoot around. Like that the guy The worst James thing that said. can happen is yeah. you might have a smile on your face. Ooh. Okay, we've reached the bird nest. Journey finished. Ugh, okay. Get me. okay, so Richard, we've landed at a bird's nest, is that right? Yeah, so we've got approved locations where we can pick up and drop off the birds. They're called bird nests. Case in point over here. How many you got? How many we got? So we've got 50 live in the park today and I think over time we're going to start to scale that up as we see demand increase yeah. up to probably about 100 birds Amazing. over the next three months. Okay so how much is this going to cost us for a cool. ride? Sure so it's one pound to unlock and then 20 pence a minute and because this route is about one and a half miles you're probably going to be spending about one pound eighty um, to do that trip. I mean, if you look at London, once we hopefully get to, to London, the average speed in central London is about 6.4 miles per hour. Um, wow. So, I mean, London is slowly grinding to a halt. It's yeah. going to be like the world's biggest car park. So yeah. if you imagine you're riding at 15 miles an hour in the cycle lanes, yeah. as an example, you can actually travel, you know, a, a, you know, two miles in about eight minutes. Whereas if you're in a car, um, you're probably going to be taking something along the lines of 30 to 40 minutes. So we are not only quicker, but also cheaper. Cool. Nice one. How was the ride, guys? Where did you go? It was great. We went for really fun. We yeah. came from here east to here to see the Shrouds of the Sun exhibition. Ah. And it took us about five or ten minutes. Yeah. It's our second time in two, three days, isn't it? Oh. And it's just fun yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take it for a spin. Right. Tell me what you think. This is lovely. You enjoy that? Mind the drains. <laughs> Those guys are like rock stars of the scoop world. You can't wipe the smile off her face, look at her. I mean, I'm pretty fit, but I can't keep up with her. What was your name? Sheila. Oh. This is Sheila's wheels. Sheila's got herself a new pair of wheels. <laughs> Sheila's wheels, Richard. Sheila's wheels.
wheels. This is Sheila's wheels. She's starting her own company. How was it? It's lovely. It's such good fun. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Just get your phone out and then just press lock. Oh, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. just want to get one. Yeah, we came deliberately to see this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, was on, it was on TV, so we thought we'd have a go. <laughs> Love it. That's so cool. Thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the weather. Do you know, Cheers. Do you know what's really Thank interesting? Like, see you later. Take care. Okay, the, the, um, those guys really suited the scooters. Like when I was was filming them, they they looked they were so happy, they were smiling, but they didn't look out of place on their scooters. It is a great way to travel. It is fun. It's good for the environment. It's for everyone. Yeah. Um, over the over the age of eighteen, anyone can ride this. If you can stand up, you can do this. It's it's such a pleasure to ride. So good. That was so lovely to see. Nice way to finish the video. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. So if you've got any questions below. Uh, drop me a comment, subscribe, like, and all that. We can tweet you maybe, or how can we? Yeah, you so Richard Corbett underscore on Twitter. Yeah. Um, send me a message or send an email to hello at bird.co. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank Woo. you.